What's crackalackin everybody and welcome back to what is part number three, holy mac and cheese and meatballs guys, we are only one ball part away from the end of this booster box, I am going to shed a tear or two when this thing ends, but guys do not worry, we are on the halfway mark of this thing, if you haven't seen part number two or one, I'll link both of them here, we got number one there, number two there, uh, make sure you do go check them out because holy mac and cheese and meatballs, this entire booster box is honestly the biggest party in anybody's pants because it's just amazing, so uh, we'll do nine packs this part because I'm feeling lucky, we got what are we, four? Four, five, six. We'll go seven, eight, nine, and then we're gonna do all of those. It is gonna be an opening extravaganza next part. But uh, without further ado, let's crack into part number three. So, uh, all right, Ente, you gotta have the goods, man. We're going for a crystal. This is like, you know, we've got to the top of the roller coaster. Now we're going downhill as fast as we can. We're gonna like. Oh. You can't find me, I'm the gingerbread man, except we're not the gingerbread man. We're Pokemon Hunter Collectors. Dun, dun, dun. Oh gosh, we completely ruined that boost back. What a start, what a party. Alright, we'll go two from the back here. And fingers crossed we can pull some more awesome hollows. And we'll finally know what a ratio of an E-Series booster box. Because I don't know if you guys like searched online. That is the hardest thing to find. I tried like all last night, I'm like, what is the ratio? I couldn't find anywhere. That is an awesome looking horsey. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. That is a really nice looking artwork. But yeah, I was looking for the ratio, and I'm guessing it's around, I don't know, I think like 10 hollows per booster box. But, uh, but you know what, we'll have to find out. We're going to execute as well a Voltorb with that really like computer generated artwork. It looks sick. That's a really nice card. A reverse metal energy, which doesn't look too bad. Don't mind your reverse energies. And an Octillery, regular rare. It's got that smug face like, mm, I've done something and you'll never know what it is. More. <laughs> like, you should be a super villain on a TV show. Be like, holy smokes, Batman, what's he done this time? Alright, so we got two from the back there. Let's do this one. We got a Pokemon fan club. Another trainer card. Power Plant. Good old PP. Alliteration. Uh, we've got a Chin Chow there. Mr. Mime doing his thing on the streets. Hippity Hop Hip Hop. A uh, Hound Door there. No! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Holy mac and cheese and meatballs! My pants, West Virginia! Oh my god! Agent Suarez here. What seems to be the problem? It's a DBC, man. What, really? Another death by card? Oh my, give me a look at the card. Thank you. Uh, what is it? This is a Crystal Nido King. Don't you need to buy like a $700 booster box just to pull one of these things? That's what he did. What the heck? He actually bought a $700 booster box? Yep. Oh my, kids these days. What were you thinking? Get this to the lab. It needs to be PSA tested right away. Man, oh man. If only we knew what you were thinking when you pulled that crystal card. Sunshine, lollipops and green bows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Oh my gosh, it looks so epic. This is the one I wanted to pull as well. Look at it, crystal type. We got Poison Horn, Rolling Thunder. It's a secret rare, which is 150 out of 147. And it is the coolest card I've ever seen in my life. Look at like the crystal background on the card there. 100 HP. There is nothing bad about this card here. The artwork looks absolutely insane in the flipping membrane. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. That is such an awesome looking card. I cannot believe we did it, guys. We po Is there any more point in opening the rest of these boost packs? We pulled a crystal. Neato King. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. Okay. All right, I've got to calm down. This is insane. This has been the best day of my entire life. Look at all that, that fluff that came up around him when he uh, jumped down. We're putting that one definitely at the back. We get a reverse Voltorb as well there. And then a Suicune regular rare. That is probably the best pack in entire Aquapolis booster opening history. We got a Suicune regular rare looking so epic. And is that the same as the box top? Yeah, it is. Look at that. We've got the box top and we've got the normal version. That's heaps epic. All right, we'll put that one to the side. But we did it, guys. We pulled a Crystal Nido King. I cannot believe this right now. I cannot flipping believe this. We pulled a Crystal Nido King, and that that was the one card that we went out to pull in this entire booster box opening. So my day's made. My my life is made. I can die a very happy man right now. It is Christmas time. Like come early. This is oh my and a Crystal Energy. There we go. Gee whiz, alright, crystals everywhere, alright, under C, I'm sorry, I'm still like, I'm still in a weird mindset, that is so crazy, we have Ponyetta there, we got Mr. Mime, Spinneract once again, a Drowsy just chilling in his little bush, Weakness Guard, reverse with Charmander in there, that is a Charmander artwork on a trainer card, this is how epic this set is, are you guys like looking at this the same way as me? Like, it is dead set, one of my, I'm gonna say, it, my favourite set, like, it's up there, my top two favourite set, right next to EX Fire Leaf Green, this thing is 
what oh my gosh the artwork we've got like amazing cards it's a big set it's an e-series set holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants what a pull what a flipping oh my gosh look at the artwork on that pokemon park it is like a computer generated we got a cyndaquil we got a chikorita and a pikachu playing in like a background which looks to be a massive clock tower pokemon park man and i think that's like they actually made that into a game now pokemon park Poke Park. Oh, that is so amazing. What awesome artwork that is on that card. Another Spinarak with a different artwork. This is exactly what I mean. Like, another different artwork for different cards. Like, you don't double up. Hardly ever. So we got another Pinsar there. A Apalm stealing an apple. Smeagol. And he is just painting without a care in the world. What a valuable animal. He can sell his paintings for heaps. Then a Hollow card. That's right. It is a Hollow Swoodawoodo. Yes! Another one to add to our collection there. It is number 24 and it looks so epic. We've got like four different Swoodawoodos in one different artwork. And the amount of like crystally shine on that card is ridiculous. Look at that. You're like drowning in the amount of blindness. That is so epic. Hollow Swooter Wudo, definitely put that one in the back. We're going to reverse Mr. Mime, and then what the heck? That is Houndoom, and he is on a whole new level. He's looking so evil. Gosh, looks like the devil with like the little uh, horn on the end of his tail there. Okay, all right, Tyranitar, come on, let's do this one. I don't, a gee whiz, I'm just going for the hollows right now because this is insane. What, what are the chances? What are the chances that we did this in part number three? Okay, let's calm down, let's calm down, let's forget about it. We got two from the back there. Another crystal energy. It just keeps reminding me. Let's say, no, Ando, don't calm down. We got a uh, Undersea Ruins there, a Slater, a Lickitung, which I love the artwork on that one. Togepi, what an awesome looking artwork of Togepi there. We got Pounce and Mirror Errand running. Uh, flip two coins on that attack there, that awesome looking horsey. We got a Bell Sprout there fighting over the berries. A metal energy, oh, not a metal energy, a metal cube 01 reverse looking pretty baller. And then uh, Hypno in a non holo form. We actually pulled that one in a holo form. Okay, Entei, my man, let's go. Let's do this one for the team. Oh, geez, that ripped really easy. Some of them rip really easy, some of them don't. It's a bit strange. So we get two from the back. Okay, let's go. We got another awesome gold duck. So I think we're starting to realize we got a few. I think we got a majority, about half of the cards so far. Juggler, haven't seen that before. What an epic juggler that'd be, juggling Pokeballs. You miss one, press the button, poof, Charizard comes out and kills everybody. That wouldn't be good. Uh, we got a horsey as well, a drowsy, Mr. Mime doing his little lion language. And then, oh, oh, look at that. Are you looking at the artwork on that card right now? It is a tentacle, hollow, and look how awesome that is with Poison Sting. It's like it's like they coat the hollow the same color as the card because look at this It's a like really dark blue hollow form and it looks so epic This actually might be one of my favorite hollows like I'm dead set right now This is a really really awesome card Holy mac and cheese and meatballs that looks so cool tentacle with 70 HP what that is insane in the flipping membrane and then we got Pokemon Park Reverse, and I was ecstatic about the normal version. We got a reverse version that's definitely going on the back, and a really awesome looking Azumarill uh, regular rare, and again, that's in Venice. So, as is, as I um, said before, a lot of this artwork seems to be based around Italy, and they actually, I think they based a fair bit of the um, Pokemon X and Y games in Italy and all that. So, they really love their Europe regions, good old Pokemon. Um, they should base one in Japan. Whoa, that'd be, that'd be absolutely inception, wouldn't it? A game within a game. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so two from the back. Let's go. Water energy, uh, water cube 01. We got an energy switch once again with Meryl there. A Vulpix. Chansey with the egg. We got a Grimer. And, he, yep, he's just shocked. He stepped on a bit of Lego and that hurt like a, like a mother duck. We got a Magnemite as well. A uh, Execute looking pretty cool. Then another Execute reverse. And exactly, this is what I'm talking about. We got two different artworks here. But, again, they're two different cards. This is number 76 and this is number 77. Cedra there looking all wise and stuff, looking pretty cool. We've got a Forest Guardian. What is he doing? Santa Claus is on the front of a card. And then we've got Noctowl there like, mm, I'm Santa's little helper. I've turned into an elf. I'm like, alrighty then. Oh, we've got another Psyduck there. Eevee prancing through the streets. Oddish on a leaf. A uh, Fampy, and he's just having fun in the water. Does not care. We've got a Goldene as well. Reverse Warp Energy. And then our regular rare is a really, really nice artwork on that Togetic. Haven't pulled too many Togekicks, but Togekick always has sweet looking artwork. Alright guys, we're on the final pack of the most amazing part ever. Holy moly, ravioli. All right, let's shake it. Shake it. One for me. Let's do this. I don't think it's possible to even pull another crystal, so we're just going for, like, as many hollows as physically possible, I reckon. Get this one open if we can. Oh, my gosh. Where is it? There's... The gosh, Ando. This is the last booster pack. You have one job, and you can't even do it. Okay, it's all opened up there. We absolutely trashed the artwork on that booster pack. That's all good in the hood. 
Okay, what are we thinking? You thinking a holo or regular rare? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm thinking a regular rare. We can't we can't be that lucky in one part. We got a psychic cube, a Psyduck, Podiata, Mr. Mime, a spinner rack there, drowsy on the bush of doom, reverse octillery, and our regular rare is a magneton regular rare. And it has really, really like dark or evil artwork in that one. We're still waved on 30 damage. Alright, guys, let's do probably the best recap ever. We've got a reverse Pokemon Park with absolutely amazing artwork there. We've got a holo tentacle. And I really like the uh, holo form on that one. Takes amazing colors and stuff. Uh, nice looking Sudowoodo with three different Sudowoodos in there. And then the card that I really, really wanted and I managed to pull it. It is a Nido King crystal type rare. And just look at the artwork. That is just one of a kind. Such an amazing card. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this part? Really keen to see what you guys think. But most of what you guys, what do you do? You tell me up though. You make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.